Marriage is not something you should just get into um, and think that it will just work. It never does. You have to prepare for marriage. You have to be intentional about marriage. Now, I was watching, um, I, like, I like medieval series. So I was watching a particular series a while back. And something happened in that series that became a defining moment in my life. So there was this family. It was uh, the British, it was the, the English kingdom. And they had a son. And they wanted the son to marry from, I can't quite remember whether it was, I can't quite remember now. I don't think it was France. But you know, they have all those, they marry kingdoms, marry kingdoms. That particular kingdom, the queen had one daughter. And they wanted this guy to marry so that their kingdoms could become stronger. That's how they used to marry in those days. And so they brought this girl into the home. And they were waiting for Han, Han the guy, the period of time before they would get married. And in that period, unfortunately, another kingdom took over her mom's kingdom. And the mom's kingdom was no longer powerful. And so the British kingdom now had a rethink as to should we allow this boy marry this girl because they're not so strong anymore. But unfortunately, the girl and the guy had already fallen in love. So the day the guy came to break the news to her that my father is proposing I marry someone else, the girl turns to him and says, how can you do that? Don't you love me? And the guy said something. That thing changed my life. The guy turned to her and said, we don't marry for love. We marry for God, for kingdom, and for duty. I paused. I say, unbeliever. With, I'm sorry, rewind. I rewound it. He said, we marry for God, for kingdom, and for duty. This is an unbeliever talking. I say, so how come we as believers don't understand that marriage is not about I love you, you love me. It's not about my parents consent, my parents do not consent. Oh, you are, we, are, we are compatible, we are not compatible. No. He said, we marry for God first. Then we marry for kingdom. And then we marry for duty. If we understand this, that this is how we go into marriage, then we will know that marriage is not something you enter lightly at all.